you're not gonna be living long yeah. with Lucario. And, and <laughs> of course, and Meta Knight is just great at rushing down. Uh, I am going to I'm gonna love seeing how BB like counters that. Immediate down B, okay. As I said, aggression, but maybe a little too much in the beginning. Okay, let's see how this set starts. I off. also feel like this might be a difficult matchup for BB because a lot of BB's game plan is making space for themselves and then you know perusing the menu. Yeah. BB always has buffs on deck. Of course. The accelerator definitely gonna be huge in that regard. And small battlefield as well. We talk about it all the time. PS2 platform layouts. So good for zoners. They provide so much coverage above. But you know, Meta Knight's got some kind of kooky angles that for sure. he might be able to to make his way in. I think his multiple jumps really gives Hero a hard time. Just because like Hero is once again, wants to scout out when you're going to land to like press those buttons on the spells. If Meta Knight's just jumping in the air, like you know, fly, flying around, it's hard to really get a, a read on him. And you can even see right there, maybe got like the first neutral win of the entire game, just one down tilt to put Rohan on the platform, and then ran to the other side to pull up the menu. Great, Great tech. tech. He didn't have a jump either. That was a very dicey situation. And didn't panic jump either. That was good. The Ro Kaboom is. Wow, one of his best spells for sure. The vacuum effect of the Kaboom, Rohan, unfortunately not able to get out of the way. And now BB with a very slight percentage lead. And Gonna very, very low mana too. If he gets thrown off stage, it will be a little hairy for him for sure. He's got to be careful, but... All right, zoom, zoom back to stage though. That's yeah, and That's I really feel like this first kill is gonna set the pace for so much of the momentum mm -hmm. in this game one. That's so true. Because then, once again, you have to like, you have to, you're gonna have to be the one running in, and the other opponent can just wait it out, just take their time. Oh wow, Rohan back here missing. The guess. A smash the, ultimate. The spacing. Yeah. Great up tilt. That move is so good for a hero. Yeah, and I feel like it's going to be really important in this matchup just because of you know how aerial that Meta Knight can play. Up tilt just an amazing anti air. But and now with Psycho and Ooms too, it kills so early. Yeah. And Meta Knight definitely isn't one of the heavier characters in the cast. No. Vivi's gonna been, been getting so many zooms. Mm -hmm. Wow. And he's still playing on. Okay, he had less than 10 mana, but with that jab, he's recovered a little bit. Yeah. All right. Great, great uh, roll in to avoid that tech chase. All right, respected the down B. Yeah. I think he was just waiting. Oh, no. I think they might not have had enough oh, mana for yeah. the, the Kasush. The Kasush. So they just did the, what is it, swoosh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's the first one called? Whoosh. 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 Yeah. Whoosh. I, I love Dragon Quest spell names. <laughs> yeah. They're so silly. Uh, I, I didn't even, like, play any Dragon Quest, but when his trailer dropped and I saw the names, I, I was just laughing. Yeah. It was, so, it was just so funny. <laughs> wow, the vacuum effect sucking him in again. Yeah, Rohan just not ready. I feel like Rohan is... Maybe maybe it's like a little bit of a matchup check. Vivi's fine. Yeah. There definitely aren't too many heroes doing it like Vivi does, especially, like, at Xeno. Yeah. All right, psych up throw not doing it okay. quite yet. But if it, like I was saying before, I feel like Rohan is trying to rely a little bit too much on the raw mobility when it comes to avoiding the kabooms. Oh, that lingered for so long. Yeah. Even catching the neutral ghetto. And now VV, you have to deal with a buffed VV with psych up, accelerator, decent mana. How's Rohan gonna combat this? Okay. I feel like you're right though. Rohan definitely has to play like slightly more aggressive and I feel like he's doing that now. Like he's staying a little more grounded, trying to like uh, press buttons and fight with Vivi, but it seems like Vivi just has a, a solid control right now of the match. Yeah, and especially like once they're able to get underneath that platform, it's so it's just so beneficial. Yeah. It's the really like the small thing like the small positioning advantages that tell who's gonna win the next root neutral exchange. It's very important. I'm still kind of struggling to find this kill, and BB's getting all these nickels and dimes, and they are adding up. Yeah. 72 now, Rohan off stage. Every bit of extra credit counts, and especially Ooh. against Meta Knight, too. <laughs> BB's just gonna take it easy, buff himself up if he needs to, but run in with like supersonic speed with Excel Yeah, and even if they're not able to, you know, get anything, all right. Rohan, I think finally. Rohan really has to just like like focus and like push Vivi into a corner and kind of get like a back air or even like a down smash. Yeah. Right now it's just not working for him. Especially when you have Hero jumping from the left side of the stage to the right and mixing up the, the timings. 
Right, that, trying to throw out a kaboom. How many kabooms time. is he gonna land this game? That time, Rohan able to dodge it and get a nice nice uh, down smash. He missed the tech, uh, but that, I think Rohan definitely needed that right now. God. And he also can't let BB buff himself up for free. With a stock ended with hero, he can he can just do whatever. Oh wow! And psych up tilt. Gonna be taking it. I honestly didn't think the match was gonna end that fast. I thought like he was going to take it like easier, but great job from BB, bro. Mm -hmm. Great psych up up tilt. Like I thought Meta Knight was too. It was like what 94% he died at. I think so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, right here. As we can see, he's just like jumping ar around again. Good up B. And then yeah, he's like perusing the menu, but then he immediately runs in and gets that up to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, caught Rohan being a little bit scared in the corner. Mm -hmm. Definitely didn't want to get grabbed or just wanted to be out of the corner. 94%. 94. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Uh, the buff up privilege. All right, so let's see. Okay. Smashville is going to be Rohan's counter pick of choice. Definitely not looking to let BB get any amount of space. Does not want them to buff you know, himself pull up, up that memo. Uh, bounce that memo. very important in this matchup, of course. <laughs> I mean, you definitely you see heroes pull out bounce in non-projectile matchups because it takes it out of the the pool of uh, many oh, spells. Wow, really? That, that's yeah. optimal then. Good good shift for them. <laughs> yeah, while it's while it's active. That's okay. okay. I wonder what Rohan's gonna do differently. The stage definitely helps, just being like Smashville, like you said, smaller. But these kabooms are just the same. They always will suck you in. Yeah, you. It's definitely a matchup check. You can air dodge through them, but it's a very specific timing. You have to do it very late. And I just feel like Rohan just doesn't have that experience and is trying to get through yeah. with raw mobility. I honestly, I would just be shielding those. I, I'm respecting the hell out of kaboom. My friend lands too many of those on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that accelerate! You could jump from like in the blast zone to the stage with an air dodge. That covers so much. Okay. Once again, the first stock looking like this, looking like uh, just like game one with whoever gets it will definitely have a great momentum shift. Yeah, Rohan stock one definitely neck and neck so far. Great down B, but unfortunately not gonna be doing it quite yet. And then yet. zoom right back to stage. Wow, Sizzle, though, top, this is yeah. so fast. Like. Vivi's ability to just like instantly jump, read a spell, and like click is, is amazing. Vivi's got that reading comprehension. <laughs> yeah. He's bro, easy they, 800 for the SAT, I'm sure. <laughs> I want to know his SAT score. I just got to say. I feel like his English had to have been like 700. <laughs> easy. Okay. Great low recovery coming out from Vivi to dodge. Oh, wow. Dodge the neutral, but an F tilt. Finally get to put Rohan on the board with only 49% extra credit. Definitely. And as you say Another that, kaboom. it's just something you got to learn. You have to know, like, we've seen it every time he tries to jump out, just gets caught. And first dash attack, I feel like I've seen, but it caught Ron off, Ron off guard. And that's another stock. Yeah, I think Ron maybe getting a little bit uh, frustrated and, you know, getting caught by a psych up hero dash attack that takes an entire tax year to come out. But, wow, and a very unfortunate SD. For Rohan, though, we take those in this industry. That's Absolutely. Oh. That's you know that's what Rohan needs yeah. in this matchup right now. Honestly, like otherwise, Vivi would have just been like being able to camp, get spells, take his time. But now we're seeing equal game, and this last stock, it's it's completely possible for Rohan to take this. It's just he has to change it up and change what he's doing. I feel like he's just been getting caught by too many of these up bees, these up tilts. Getting um, lost in the sauce with all these buffs from Vivi. Yeah, Rohan kind of taking a moment to compose himself on this center platform. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know, the more time that you give Vivi, the more time that they have to pull up the menu. And more mana, too. He could just buff himself up to Oblivion. Any spell yep. he wants. Yep, all right. Oh. Another upbeat out of shield. Are you Couldn't get the tech in place. That was his moment. Feels like Rohan is just barely missing these conversions or these hits. Yeah, just really we're seeing a, a lack of confidence from yeah. Rohan right now. That's unfortunate. Another tech in place, and he wasn't able to get That was a close up smash. I feel like I saw it coming. Yeah. Oh, that's Accelerable oh, Psych Up damn. Flame Slash. Get your jab just outranged by that Flame Slash. <laughs> Dragon... that's, that's revenge for Brawl. <laughs> yeah, honestly, right now. Yeah, Another up tilt. Jump in with the psych up up tilt. And that is going to be VV taking it pretty handily. Even with the SD, it didn't shake him up at all. Yeah. Like, 
he was playing just as well. If if anything, it felt like Rohan got more worried and scared at that last set or last stock when he was missing like some of those conversions. Yeah, it like I was saying, it felt like Rohan just wasn't confident in that last stock. I feel like we saw a lot of Rohan just staying like almost completely still, almost like a deer in headlights effect. Yeah. Like where we weren't seeing any any sort of reversals coming out. Vivi was just, you know, dancing around Rohan. Mm -hmm. And it felt like Rohan was jumping, like you said, near that center platform just to like look for anything, any moment of opportunity, but Vivi just stayed calm and he was just patient. And yeah. I like that. See, even with that SD, <laughs> even yeah. with the SD, Vivi was perfectly fine. Chilling at a calm 32. That up tilt and Kaboom were definitely the MVPs of that set, though. Definitely. For definitely sure. Kaboom. I mean, Kaboom's definitely an MVP in most hero sets. Yeah. But yeah. that one especially, like, that's just the matchup check. I would love to see a Hocus Pocus, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> if, if Hocus Pocus ever comes out, he turns giant or starts sparkling, like, that'd be the coolest thing. If only. Thing. Yeah, if only. All right. 